Uh, my family was in close watch many years. Uh, the, when the authorities began the re-education camps, and uh, me and my other five colleagues, uh, family members, uh, targeted, and so my worries come true when I learned my brother, uh, Kaiser Kim, was detained in uh, September 28, uh, 2017. He was driving my mother to a doctor appointment when he was taken after uh, stopping at the gas station. Uh, he left my mother in the car and told her uh, not to worry, but never come back. Uh, a relative uh, had to come to get my mother, uh, who later asked police for information. They refused to give anything beyond saying that uh, my brother was at the re-education center to, the, um, to be locked after. She later spoke uh, with him by Skype at the police station. He put on a brave uh, face and uh, said not to worry and uh, that he's okay, but my mother knew he was suffering. Uh, months went on when I heard after that my parents both in need uh, of constant medical care were hospitalized, but they were taken into facilities in the detention camps, not being able to talk with my mother or father <coughs> or learn how they were doing was almost too much to bear. Being almost uh, 77,000 miles away, I feel so helpless. Even more than when my poor brother was taken, I tried to contact other family, but couldn't reach them also. So later I learned more than 20 people my, uh, of my close relatives taken to the call re-education center. Um, so they punished it because of my work, because of me. Um, so after I start raising my voice, because our people, millions of people, are voiceless in the re-education camps and the Uyghur region. They need attention, they need help. 